Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Pompano Beach Airpark. And today I have the Cam Air 480. And you know, this plane was on my list for quite some time. I just think it's a great looking plane and I heard nothing but good stuff about it. And I believe it's like one of those planes that are basically a hidden gem. You know, I haven't used it yet, but this is my first time. It's like a first impression for me right here. And, um, <clears throat> I heard a lot of good stuff about this plane. And I noticed on uh, Liberty Flight on his channel there, he talked a lot about this plane. And, uh, I mean, and a lot of people did too, because it looks really good. You know, it looks really, really good. Okay, so let me start it up now. And this is the first time I'm even going to fly this plane. I'm going to fly it out to South Bimney. So uh, just bear with me here. I've never been first time in, in the cockpit and everything. So, all right, let's take a look here. All right, I need to get the battery on. So let's see here. Yes. And the interior, I can already tell you, it looks really cool. I like the, the worn look right there and everything. Battery. Here we go. Let's get the battery on. Alternator. Alternator. It's got twin 240 horsepower engines. So, yeah, it's pretty beefy here, you know? And it has some power. And I, it's pretty quick. All right. Let's see. Auto. Fuel pump on. Avionics. All right, I think everything is good, so we probably can go ahead. Let's get a, a beacon light on. Both, I, I believe, both normally. Okay. And now let's see, panel lights, fog light, and let's start it up. And I've kind of been looking for a good twin engine plane and I think this is this this is gonna be a great one great one I'm gonna get a lot of flights in this one I'm sure and I don't even know everything that can be done but it, it's a lot I, I, I watched it on a few other channels and it's a lot okay let's start the left engine and it's good looking look at it you know all right let's start it here Left engine, alive, right engine. Now, this here controls the co-pilot, hidden, so I'm going to just arm safety, I'm not sure what that does. Oh yeah, look at, I mean, look at the detail in it, look. The, um, that's, that's really cool, man, you know? All right. Let's go ahead and get it ready to head out. Let me make sure I didn't have anything on here that I did not want. Okay, everything. I can I can go ahead and delegate this to uh, auto. And um. Yeah, and the plane is going to be pretty fast, too, you know. Let's depart uh, east. I don't know why my heat is in. Papano Beach Ground Cam Air Golf Charlie Tango 102 to request taxi for departure to the east with Echo. Golf Charlie Tango 102 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 24. The attaxiway Bravo Alpha cross runway 28 Delta cross runway 33 Delta. Contact tower on 125 decimal for when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 24. And you got full checklist here. I never went through any of them, but they're there. Okay. Delta Cam Air 022. Let's do a pushback a little here. 
And once again, my engines are running and I'm doing a pushback. That's just foolish. Okay. Short of runway two four. So two four is going to be man. I don't know this airport very well. I'm going to have to put on some guidance. Taxi ribbon. I want to start using little nav map to kind of plan out my flights, but for now this will work. I'm just going to have it get me to the runway. A lot of times when I fly out to South Bimini, I'll, I'll use, um, I'll take off from Miami or something like that. I'm a little bit more familiar, but. And this plane has a good bit of liveries, too. Sounds good too. And yeah, I can feel it's got a good bit of power because this plane originally, you know, this model plane, it it was the original versions that had single engine, and then he went to uh, a dual engine, a single 240. I guess that that's why it's called Cam Air 480 because you got, you know two 240 horsepower engines and man that, that's a small plane that's a lot of power for such a small plane think about a Cessna but you got a hundred and something horsepower or something and look at this you know it's gonna be a little beast I'm pretty sure it'll climb out with a lot of power you know and not shouldn't have any any trouble at all And I bet it could run on a single engine if needed. You know, like if I'm going out to over the Atlantic or something and doing something like that, and I don't lose an engine, I bet you I can keep flying it. You know, it might not be easy, but I bet you I can keep flying it. Multi-engine aircraft is always sounds like a better idea if you can be over water for a long extended time. Oh, let's see. I can already tell you, I ain't even flying, I didn't even get in the air yet, and I can already tell you I'm liking this, I'm liking this plane. I, I knew I would, you know? I knew I would. It's good, like, I guess, if you want a good twin engine plane, and you don't want, like, a big, you know, bigger passenger kind of plane, like, like a King Air or something like that. Just want to sink, I mean, uh, a smaller plane, you know, that can hold a couple of people, maybe a one passenger. I think there's one seat back there, one or two passengers. All right, let's stop right here. Pompano Beach Tower Cam Air Golf Charlie Tango 1022 at runway 24 ready for departure east departure. Camera Golf Charlie Tango 102 2, altimeter 30 decimal 01, wind 197 at 9 East departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 24. And if you like me, you're used to, you know, Cleared for takeoff runway smaller, low horsepower zero two two. planes. It's going to be a good, uh, a good takeoff with a lot of, you know, extra power to spare. Right, let's go. Right, you can hear it. Sounds great, huh? Well, we gotta go. Continue for East departure. 
at least climbing out, like, man, like, nothing, no Beach Tower, out. Camera okay. Golf Charlie Tango 102 to continue for East Departure. I can take a higher, steeper climb than that. I can probably climb at about 1,500, maybe even 2,000 feet a minute on this plane here. Pompano Beach Tower, Cam Air Golf Charlie Tango, 102, two frequency change. Look at that. Miami Approach Cam Air Golf Charlie Tango, 1022, is type Cam Air, two miles southwest of Pompano Beach, 1,800 feet. Request flight following. Yeah, this is a, this, this is a good plane. It, it flies great. I can already feel it. Look at it. Nice and stable. Squawk tree zero five six camera zero two. Back off the throttles a little bit. And you even have propeller RPM too. These planes were made in, in the 1950s. And let me show you something too. Turn a little bit lower now. The excitement Roger, Cam Air, zero two two. I had to hear. But anyway, if you look Miami at the plane, Cam Air, Golf Charlie Tango, one it kind of almost looks like, like a 1950s Charlie car, like the way it's designed, I guess, right here. In a way, it just kind of reminds me. It doesn't really look like it, just kind of reminds me of that. The lines. You know? Clear to Charlie Airspace, Cam Air, zero two two. And look how fast we're cruising. We almost have 180, and I'm, I'm a little throttle here. here. 77% throttle, and I'm at almost 180. It's probably not the most fuel efficient plane, you know. This is definitely a uh, old school muscle car of an airplane. That's that's a good way to describe it. Cruise ship steaming down below. This is live weather, live time, live traffic. And there's other things you can do, like um, you can open the doors, like the front of the uh, the nose cone here can open. There's a storage compartment there. I never even messed with around with all of that, but you know, like I said, this is just a quick first impression of it. In case any of you out there wondering, if, you know, you want to get around that, but I mean, why even wonder? You know, this plane was fourteen dollars. It's seven dollars now. I don't even know why it was. It it probably could have got thirty. For it's such a good plane, you know? And as I was expecting, I had high expectations because everybody said it was, and they, they were all right. Sound, textures, want to see the textures? Look close, look at this. Zoom in a little closer. You see it? Look at look at down here. Look at the exhaust. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a damn good looking plane. No doubt about that. See, this is kind of where it reminds me of the uh, of a '50s car or something. You see, see right here. If you take it, if you just look at just the top, and I think that's so cool. It's so original. And I'm not even touching anything. I mean, I mean, it, I don't think there's a lot of wind. I, I was trying to get the anus to come up, but you know, it did. Let's see if we can. Oh, I'm not going to pull it up yet because I, I'm on auto. I probably could take that off right now. I can handle my own ATC. Let's just cut that off for now. And I'm hands off flying. I'm not touching. It. And I believe you can change this too to different. Um, I think there is a way to change this. I thought I seen him do that different types of garments. 
I'm not sure. I'm about to look at that closer, but when the Sebastian could get to this point, and I never even, I just hopped. What you see right there? First time I hopped in it, and that's it, you know? So it's not too hard to get it started. So yeah, look, pilot, as far as me, I can, uh, you know, make it invisible too. The Navion, Twim Navion. Yeah, this door opens. I believe that's the little door right there. I'm pretty sure. That's the call Let's look over the checklist, see, see what it has. So I check. Yeah, that's where I said. It's not very long. I probably could have uh, just went through it. It's pretty basic. Yeah. Flies absolutely wonderful, you know. Very minor adjustments are needed. See its own course. I know it has an autopilot, but um, I'm not. I haven't, you know, um, messed around with it much yet. Faster with this plane. You know, this one eight right there. Just don't expect it to be like a uh, what you call that. Um, I'm trying to say that. Uh, oh, that TBM nine thirty. Don't don't expect it to be like that. But you know, and then that's a turbo prop. You know, comes a little, a little further back. Great sound. I mean, this, this is a full package, man. Great sound, a lot of liveries, great flying plane, it looks great. I mean, I don't even know what I could say bad about it, to be honest with you. And it's priced excellent, especially right now. Play Flight Simulator, I, I would just, you know, I would just grab it. Why not, you know? This will be one of those planes where I'm, I'm going to lose track of how many flights I get on it, I'm sure. Kind of like the Sea Ray. I have several planes on my list to buy a list. With this summer sale, they got really good deals. But this video is about this plane right here. This was my first one I got on the sale. Back and forth trying to figure out which one and this one's been, like I said, it's been on the list for quite, quite a while, so. You notice, look, I don't even have, sometimes I'll use auto trim on certain planes, I don't even have that on. It's, it's just, going well just like it is. I still need to get a little more familiar with this style of Garmin. It's in a lot of planes, but um, I haven't messed around with it a whole lot. You know? it's, in, it's in that, also that plane, it's a plane I keep flying. Oh, the CH-701. It's in that one too, a little bush plane. I just love how it says Cam Air right here. Isn't that cool? Cam 480, Cam Air.
let's see, I'm, I'm about 3,500 feet, so that's good. And you can see Bimney right ahead. It's nice to have something with a little bit of power, too, sometimes, you know? After you start flying a lot of small planes, you know, not a lot of horsepower. But don't get me wrong, I, lo I love the Cessnas, man. Uh, I was I took flying lessons in the Cessnas, 172, and I like them. But man, sometimes you, you know, you want something that, but you just don't want to go too big. It's like you know, when the times when you want to fly something, you're just like you know, I don't want to go too big and complex. So I just want to grab a plane and go, you know, with something I want to have a little bit of power, a little bit of extra power sometimes. This is perfect. And they, rather than having to pick like a King Air or something, you know, or the 930 is like the closest I've had. This one has, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it has a 1,000, 1,100 nautical mile range. That's really far for this plane. And that's, one of that, that might be enough to head to get to Bermuda. I don't know where you leave it from. I mean, look at all, all the gauges, you know, working. A lot of this stuff is operational. Look, even even these breakers. Let's see, anything else? I mean... Is there anything up here? Oh, yeah, look, look. I don't know what you can do with that, but it's up there. Oh, canopy. Yeah, that opens. I forgot that opens. It, when we land, I'm gonna look, do some more. Look at the plane a little bit more and see. Um, I think you can bring this down. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Pretty cool. Open canopy. We're not gonna do that now, okay? But um, yeah. Back seat. So I guess three people. It's a small plane. And you can look at the pilot, you see. You got a small plane. Alright, let's get ready to come on down. Start descending. Get too, I don't want to get too far off course. Now let's see how it goes with landing, okay? I think I can land it though. It's, it doesn't seem hard to fly at all. I'm pulling back on a throttle now. Sending really quick too. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like I will definitely have to come back on my, R my RPM here, my prop RPM. So I'm gonna definitely have to come back on that. Descending too quick, so yeah, it'll descend quick. Let's let's just stay at about uh, fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble. I don't think it's gonna need a lot of runway or anything, but I don't know because it really comes down fast. This is a flight I do a lot. When I have a new plane, I like to just do this flight. I'm usually Miami to South Korea. This one a lot. You 
it gives the plane a decent run with it without it being too, too long. Runway 10. Traffic Camera Golf Charlie Tango 102 to Niner Miles Man, we Northwest 2,600 feet. I mean, you just don't, want, you don't want to just lay on the throttle. I mean, look at that. I'm almost at 4,000 feet, but at least I can see the runway. And you're not going to leave a lot of runway, so you know you can wait till you get a lot closer before you start descending. And this this landing may not go good. We'll have to see. And if it doesn't, it's going to be mostly my fault. Because I can easily suck, you know, since, I mean, it's the first time I've flown this plane. Although I like to consider myself a virtual pilot, but we'll see how it goes. It's still just a little too high. But one thing I got going for me is I know the airport really good. So I've been here a bunch of times. Don't have any flaps just yet. Yeah, 2,000 pretty quick, huh? Let's look, I don't know what this... Uh, the style speed is. Let's see, does it show here, maybe? I think it does. Don't know, I don't want to keep staring at that, but... I think I'll be good at, at about 120 at least. Maybe not, maybe 100. Man, it looks like it's gonna like some throttle for sure. Almost, you know what it feels like? It almost feels like a turbo prop plane, but it's it's not a turbo prop, but it almost feels like that. Get a landing gear. Down. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. You can even hear the sounds. Got a good bit of sounds here. Huh? And a few other videos, the night lighting is good on, on the plane, all the instruments, and so if you want to do night flights, you can do that too. Coming on in to Bimini. I'm going to drop some flaps. Oh yeah, you gotta watch out. I, I do that sometimes. I hit the wrong button. Well, I mean, I hit my controller here, and it, you know, I'm trying to put my flaps down. I'm not my landing gear. All right. See, that's good. It had the sound because I was able to hear it. Are we we going okay? It's just under a hundred, so. I wouldn't slow this plane down too much. It seemed like you might drop pretty quick. It probably has a good weight to it. Alright, let's kind of... Staying pretty stable. Let's 
just hit back now. Alright, not too bad, I guess. So there, you see your takeoff and landing. Cold and dark. Alright, so... To park them up. We'll look at more of the plane and I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think about this plane once we park. I was pretty much making it clear as I was flying because I was expecting this, you know. Nice realistic looking cockpit too. Look at how, how awesome it is. There's a plane coming in. Gotta get off this runway. You're gonna mess up my new plane and cause injure people. Look at it. Judging from the size of that plane, um, if it hits, I might not even be alive. Let's take a look at that thing landing. Probably another player. I don't even see landing here. Oh, yeah, it's there. Oh, you know that? That, I don't know what that is, if I'm not clear or what. Okay, I'm going to announce clear runway. Gonna watch the throttle on this thing, God. I'm used to that. Mike Yankee, Bravo Sierra, Traffic Cam Air Golf, Charlie Tango, 1022, clear the runway. Go, it'll just take off on you. It'll get away from you quick. It's like like driving a really, really fast car. Gets away from you really quick. <laughs> and once you feel that power, you just want to go with it, but you can't do that with a plane because just tap really, really slowly. I'm going to have to probably, you might want to use my aviator joystick with this plane. I think that would be great. Bike stick that aviator. There we go. Let's just say keep your hand, keep your your um your feet on the brakes and get ready to stop. All right. Now let's go ahead and shut the plane off. Um, mixture cut. Parking brake is on. All right. Flaps are up and here. And let's start shutting down the electrics. We'll get a log book coming up probably. 20 minutes. It's like a lot longer than that in a different plane, some of the other planes that fly. Turn the magnetos off. Everything else is off. So yeah, that shutdown seemed pretty simple. Now look at this. Cockpit is open. Now uh, let me see how, I don't know how you do the rest of it, but I know you can open other things like that door and stuff like that. I'll have to look, but I know you can do. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, there's a couple other things here that you can do. So, there you have it. Um, that's my first impression of the Cam Air 480. And let's take this drone cam and go around a little bit here. 
Get a closer look at the exterior. I mean, look at the edges of it. Look at how you can see how it's like worn a little bit. And that is just so cool, man. You know? Look at that. And the nose cone, I don't remember how to do it, but you can open. That opens and I don't know the door opens, but I just don't know how to watch, maybe watch it on the video or something. So I hope you all in, uh, enjoyed this video. And this plane, um, a five, uh, five out of five. It, it's really, really good. Really, really good. I'm surprised, you know, it's uh, 15 or oh, in just totally surprised and shocked that it's seven that's like this plane is a steal for seven dollars man outstanding you know really really good all right uh well thanks for watching and um check this out on the marketplace and do yourself a favor but uh yeah um i'll, I'll, I'll also have i think it's the developers Hangar 713, something like that, but, um, yeah, I can put the link down below on, you know, to the website. They have a website, you know, and, but, um, you'll find this plane right on the marketplace. Highly recommend it. All right, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Give me a like, subscribe, and comment, and until next time, bye for now.